The bereavement is removal of all tissue that inhibits the wound from going through the normal phases of healing. A lot of times when wounds are chronic, they have tissue that is present there in the form of biofilm or what we call fibrotic tissue that may inhibit it from allowing it to have the normal cells to allow the healing to take place. The different types of debridements include autolytic debridement, which is the body's ability to remove all tissue that inhibits the normal phases of wound healing. There's also chemical debridement, which involves different enzymes and different compounds that are used to remove some of the tissue. And then there's mechanical debridement, which we utilize with either various dressings or what we call ultrasound debridement. And then there's also finally surgical debridement where we utilize different instrumentations in a sterile environment to help remove the tissue that can inhibit the normal phases of wound healing. This service is available for patients who have chronic wounds and a lot of times chronic wounds are a byproduct of poor oxygen to the wound, poor vascularity to the wound. There also can be a poor diet that can contribute to a chronic wound. There can also be the buildup of what we call dead tissue or necrotic tissue that keeps the wound from going through the normal healing process. When different factors get into the wound, such as dirt, debris, it can lead to an infection. The infection can subsequently lead to an infection of the bone, which can further exacerbate symptoms and create a need for surgical debridement or amputation. We're able to help improve their quality of life by dealing with not only the physical aspect of having the wound and getting it to heal, but also the psychological aspect and how we can prohibit them from doing the things that they like to do. So we take all those factors into consideration to help prevent its recurrence and help improve their quality of life.